Sri Lanka, whose Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa resigned on Monday, has been mired for the past two months in a deep political and economic crisis. The island nation of 22 million people is experiencing acute shortages of food, fuel and other essentials, a crisis that has inflicted widespread misery and triggered weeks of mass demonstrations. The South Asian country emerged from a devastating civil war in 2009 only to be rocked by Islamist bombings in 2019 before being hit hard the following year by the COVID-19 pandemic which torpedoed its vital tourism sector. of emergency as protests spread. President Rajapaksa declares a state of emergency giving security forces sweeping powers to arrest and detain suspects. On April 2, Sri Lanka declares a 36-hour nationwide curfew and deploys troops. On the 3rd of April, cabinet resigns almost all of Sri Lankan Cabinet resigns at late night meeting, leaving Rajapaksa and his brother Mahinda, the Prime Minister, isolated. On the 4th of April, President Rajapaksa offers to share power with the opposition under a unity administration led by him and Mahinda, but is rebuffed. The governor of the central bank having resisted calls to seek a bailout from the International Monetary Fund announces his resignation. President Rajapaksa's problems deepen as Finance Minister Ali Sabri resigns just a day after he was appointed. The embattled leader loses all his parliamentary majority as former allies urged him to quit. He leaves the state of emergency. On April 9, tens of thousands march on the president's office in the biggest protest to date, demanding that Rajapaksa resign. Sri Lanka's doctors say that they are nearly out of life-saving medicines, warning that the crisis could end up killing more than the coronavirus pandemic. The country announces it is defaulting on its external debt of 51 billion as a last resort after running out of foreign exchange to import desperately needed goods. On April 18, the president unveils a new government, ousting two of his brothers and a nephew but keeping on his eldest brother Mahinda as prime minister. The police kill a protester, the first casualty of several weeks of anti-government protests. The next day, the International Monetary Fund says it has asked Sri Lanka to restructure its colossal external debt before a rescue package can be agreed upon. A journal strike brings the country to a standstill. On May 6, Rajapaksa declares another state of emergency. The police set up security around lawmakers from the ruling party. On the 9th of May, Mahinda Rajapaksa resigns as Prime Minister after violent clashes between his supporters and anti-government protesters that left three dead and more than 150 injured. A lawmaker from the ruling party shoots two anti-government protesters, killing one and then takes his own life during a confrontation outside the capital. The authorities announce a nationwide curfew.